Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss practice problem 2 here and here is our problem statement and here is our class diagram where we have vehicle rental, customer, car rental and car details as our classes and the lines which connecting the two classes tells about the relationship between those two classes. Here the triangle represents inheritance and the diamond represents aggregation and the solid line represents association between those two boxes means those two classes and from this diagram we can understand there are some instance variables some are private and some are public and there are few methods and some getters and setters for the private variables so by looking at the class diagram understanding this much is more than enough so let's deep dive into the code actual part here is our first class that is vehicle rental and in this class we have three private variables which were initialized with using constructor here itself so every private variable need to be initialized in the constructor itself since private variables can't be accessed to the outside of the class like uh, if you want to use those uh, variables in the car rental or customer then you can't use them that's why you need to create the getters and setters for the private variables so that you can access them even outside the class since this class is fully implemented there is nothing to change here and next we have class customer and we have something to implement under the class customer let's explore that and here they are just describing about the data that given that member customer id and uh, member bill amount array which were already given so no nothing to worry about it uh, they are just asking you to not to change the case and the order and in this class we have two private variables which were initialized using constructor and uh, they only given the getters and setters for those two private variables on the right hand side you can see two trains right so this is the calculate discount method which you need to implement uh, right here so by just following the english statements on your left side this is very simple let's go through it this method identifies and returns the discount amount based on the rental amount passed as an input parameter and this was already given by them where a float rental amount we are passing it as a uh, parameter to the calculate discount method and returning the discount amount so after calculating the discount amount we need to return here and our first line of code will be if the customer id is present as one of the element in the member customer id then we have to invoke the upgrade customer method by passing the rental amount as in input parameter and to check that we need to run a for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than member cust id array dot length a semicolon i plus plus open and close parenthesis and now we have to check whether this customer id is exist in that array or not for that we have we have to write the if condition if this dot custody dot equal ignore case of members custody array of i and here we are performing case insensitive operation that is why we are using equal ignore case if that if this matches then we need to invoke the upgrade customer by passing the rental amount as parameter and now we need to check last character of the customer id for that we are clicking a character and uh, custody dot caret custody dot length minus one so basically length minus one gives you the last character of the customer id and based on the customer type we need to give the discount percentage as per given here so if the character ch equals to equals to p then we have to give 15 percent and if the character ch uh, equals to equals to r then we have to give 10 percent so for the p type discount amount equals to 0.15 f into rental amount and for the r type discount amount equals to 0.10 f into rental amount parenthesis close and finally we are returning the discount amount uh, when we call the calculate discount method and this upgrade customer method already implemented so nothing to change here and now let's implement the car details class so here we can see class car details extends vehicle rental so here extends is a keyword used for the inheritance when you have the relationship between two tables you can um, establish the relationship by using extends keyword uh, which is a for the triangle symbol and here we are having one private variable that is car type and which was initialized using constructor and here is the statements need to be implemented under the method calculate final amount so let's do that invoke the identify per rent method of uh, car details class by passing car type as parameter to identify rent per day of int type so let's write this line int rent per day equals to car details dot identify per day rent by passing um, this dot car type that's it simple right we just need to convert the english statements into coding that's it and the next line is int excess kilometers equals to super dot identify journey days we are just calling the identify journey days method from the parent class and assigning it to excess kilometers and in the same way int journey days equals to super dot get journey days 
here we are using get journey days because journey days is a private variable which is from the other class where we can't access directly so that is why we are using getters and setters and now this line let's write this if rent per day equals to equals to minus one or excess kilometers less than zero or journey days less than zero if any one of them will be true then we set the final amount to be minus 1.0 this is what they are asking us to write and uh, in the else part we have a uh, lot of conditions let's write that as well else open and close parentheses so these are these are all the conditions that we need to implement in the else part so here we have to do few mathematical operations as per the given statements and to get the rental amount we need to add journey days and rent per day and to get the excess kilometers amount we need to multiply excess kilometers with the 12 and the final rental amount will be adding the rental amount and excess kilometers amount together and to get the discount amount uh, we need to call the calculate discount amount method but uh, it is available in the customer class so to call that we are using super dot get customer dot calculate discount amount method by passing the rental amount and this is how we need to call the methods that are available in the outside of this class so now hope you understand why we pass the customer to the constructor in the initial stage so now if the discount amount is minus 1.0 f then the final amount should be minus 1.0 so we have to write this line otherwise uh, we have one more uh, iterative process so let's do that so if uh, discount amount equals to equals to minus 1.0 f then parenthesis open then we have to set the final amount to minus 1.0 close parenthesis um, else final amount equals to um, rental amount minus discount amount and next to identify the cust id in member customer id array then we have to run a for loop so let's do that for int i equals to 0 semicolon i less than customer dot member cust id array dot length semicolon i plus plus open and close parenthesis and to check if it is present um, if super dot get customer dot get custody dot equal ignore case because we are performing case insensitive comparison of customer dot member custody array of i so open and close parenthesis since custody and um, member custody array are not from this class we are taking the reference of customer and uh, uh, invoking here that's it if this condition is true or uh, satisfied then uh, we are updating the member bill amount of array at that index uh, with the final amount adding to the existing amount and finally we are returning the final amount and we have completed 80 percent of the problem by now and we are left with uh, only one class with one method so let's do that as well and in this class we have two arrays one with car types array and uh, other with corresponding per day rent of that car so all we need to do here is by implementing identify per day rent car method by passing the car type so let's do that so for this case we'll use boolean here and we are initializing boolean with the false as a boolean flag equals to false and then we'll run a for loop for int i equals to zero semicolon i less than car type array dot length semicolon i plus plus open and close parenthesis then we'll write a condition as if car type dot equal ignore case since it is a case insensitive comparison of car types array of i open and close parenthesis then flag equals to true and then we are assigning the corresponding price of that car to the rent per day variable i now will write the if statement for the flag if flag equals to false then we'll return minus one else flag equals to true then we'll return uh, rent per day so that's it we can remove this rent per return statement so that's all so with this we have implemented all the three methods in the three different classes and finally we have tester class where we have main method and uh, here we'll create the object for the classes and uh, through that uh, object reference uh, we'll call the methods and uh, by passing the parameters and don't worry this tester class will be given by them only you don't need to create uh, any object for any class <clears throat> or you don't need to call any method so this is all um, will be given you just need to implement those three methods in different classes that's it so um, that's all for the problem let's uh, now verify the code so see here um, all the test cases from all the classes um, have passed so there are no anomalies or no errors if you get any error also you can see in which class in which method exactly that you got error so that uh, you can visit, revisit your code and uh, you can recheck it and uh, modify the code and uh, verify it again so 
so this is how the process goes so and all the test cases are structural and sample and actual all the test cases have passed and um, hope you understand the problem statement and the code that we have entered and the approach so if you have any problem do let me know in the comment section uh, not just this problem uh, if you have any problem any or any queries due uh, related to training also you can ask in the comment section i'll try to reply on that so thank you for watching we'll meet you in the next video